Okay, hi all, welcome to the last tutorial. I'm just going to talk you through mixing the lead vocals and the harmony vocals um, and also how to process things on the master bus just to give you a bit more of a polished mix. Uh, I'm just going to talk you through the lead vocals to start with. So exactly the same as the others, uh, the other tracks. We, you want to listen to them by themselves, just make sure that they sound as you want them to sound to check out the uh, the actual frequencies that are in those sounds. Right things at exactly the right time. And so we can hear a really nice recorded vocal there, very clear, uh, really good balance of frequencies actually, not too bad. We're still going to put a small amount of uh, equalizer in there, a small amount of low shelf. Thing you need, I am everything inside of you. There. Just to polish it and to let it sit on top of the mix, just like everything else. And also, if we put in a small amount of high shelf and boost it ever so slightly, so we're talking kind of three or four dBs max, uh, it gives you a nice polished, clear sound. You wish you could be, I say. Oh. You you kind of give it a bit more clarity. Um, it's really important that you don't boost it too much, especially in using the MV44 headphones, the black and green headphones that we use at college. If you boost that too much, uh, you won't notice the difference in the MV44s, but you will when you kind of use uh, proper mixers, proper sorry, proper speakers, and also on kind of cast areas and things. Right, let's uh, have a listen to that and bypass it and listen back. All the right things at exactly the right time but I mean nothing to you and I don't know why okay might even boost that just a little bit more you don't know why I am everything you want I am everything you need okay so that's our equalizer so that gives us a nice uh, balance sound so we also need to compress this vocal. It's really important that you compress your vocals uh, just to thicken up the body of the sound. Now there's a nice vocals preset that we're going to use which has a kind of fairly uh, fairly unobtrusive ratio and quite not too much of a hard knee and so we're just going to bring that threshold down in line with where the vocals are actually hitting and we're just going to squeeze those top dynamics down just to level it out. I am everything in it's important that you don't bring the threshold down too far. Inside of you there you wish you could be you can hear it's kind of pumping and struggling and fighting. We just want to just pull down the top end. I say all the right things at exactly the right time. And then of course we need to bring up the gain again. I'm but I mean nothing to you and I don't know why. So it's really brought out the body of that sound and just kind of the resonance of the voice, which is nice. Okay, so if we also put in a delay maybe just using that two-thirds again that we used earlier just for for ease I'm gonna bring down the feedback ever so slightly we don't want it going on and on and on and repeating we'll take the crossfeed off which means it doesn't feed from left to right hand side turn the mix down because it's it's gonna be very present you'll be able to hear it in the mix I am everything you need I am everything inside of you that you wish you could be I say all the right things at exactly the right time but I'm so it's really low we're only kind of one percent in the mix there but it you can hear it and it is making a difference and it will allow it to sit in the mix a bit a bit more easily um, so we've got an equalization compressor it's good to do it in this order because you shouldn't compress uh, the delay or the reverb on a single channel you can do it on the master bus which I'll talk about in a second okay let's uh, now put on some reverb so also to head it help it set in the mix mean nothing to you and I don't know why you've got the dry and the and the early reflections and the reverb here so the dry is the normal the normal folk if I turn that down it will sound like he's in a well which isn't very helpful because we want to make sure that that's still at the foreground of our mix. The early reflections kind of are the quick ones that bounce off the wall and come straight back to your ears. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn all those down just so we don't get any weird, uh, weird acoustic effects from that and also just turn down the reverb so slight so it's not as present in the mix as it could be. I am everything you need I am everything inside of you that you wish you could be Okay, so we've got a nice sound there. What you want to do is make sure that you're looking at the decay time and maybe some high dampening and just making sure that you've got those reverb controls covered and just have a play around and see what they sound like. But for now, that gives us a good sound. And we also want to process the harmonies in the same way. Uh, so I'm just going to copy across, across those. 
Now you could treat harmonies very differently and it depends what kind of sound you're going for because these are just kind of straight harmonies. Uh, and just for ease, uh, we're just gonna port those over. So let's see if we can find out. I said all the right things. And as you can see, we've got kind of peak and distortion happening at the moment because they're too loud together. But we're going to bring that down. So the, the harmony should just just be audible. They shouldn't kind of be fighting with the lead vocal. And you want to make sure that they're they're still in the mix there. At exactly the right time, but I mean nothing to you, and I don't know why. Okay, very important there to make sure that everyone's kind of in sync and the the harmonies are in tight uh, as tight as possible. Okay, right, I'm going to unsolo those now. So that's that's quite a nice vocal sound. You need, I am right, I'm going to put everything else back in the mix now, and I'm expecting some peaking or distortion on the master bus, but hopefully it won't be too bad with all the mix of the other instruments that we've got there. Everything inside of you that you wish you could be, I say all the right things at exactly the right time, but. To take that off loop, so we just want to make sure that they're balanced. I don't know why, why. Okay, so we're just going to leave it like that for now and imagine that we've spent a bit more time on our mix uh, perfecting a few things and making sure that we've got the bass frequencies as much as the high frequencies and the mid frequencies. Um, I've kind of scooped out a bit the mid frequencies, maybe a bit too much in some of those, but uh, it's still sounding a lot better than it did uh, before. So let's just play this. With effect. I say all the right things and exactly. And so the last thing to do is just to polish it all off and make sure that it sounds like a cohesive mix because at the moment they're all separately recorded instruments put all through um, just into the master bus so they don't sound like they were recording in the same space or at the same time. So what we're going to do is put in uh, a couple of effects just to tighten it all together to act as glue. So. The glue of our mix is the main thing is going to be reverb, but we can also polish off that mix with a bit of compression and also a bit of EQ. So put those three things in on our master bus there. Now, equalizer. If you, we don't want to turn many, we don't want to turn the bass frequencies down on the master bus because we'll lose all the bass frequencies that we've got recorded and it will be a very tinny mix. But what we can do is ever so slightly just boost those high frequencies again, and you'll get a much, you'll hear the presence and the. Um, the extra, the excitement that it's added in the high frequencies. It just makes it stand out a bit more from the mix. Okay, I'm going to put some reverb on now. I am everything you need. So this is going to glue all our tracks together by processing them and making sure that they sound like they were recorded in the same space. We're going to get rid of those early reflections um, again, and we might turn the reverb down so it's not as obvious. I am everything inside of you that you wish you could be. I say all the and you'll hear it. It's ever so subtle, really subtle, but it does make a massive difference. Okay, now we've got a compressor. Now we just want to squeeze off that dynamic range just up at the top, just to, um, just to make sure that it's kind of thickening up the body of that recording. Now modern pop music is compressed uh, to the death uh, and makes it sound as loud as possible as, as for as long as possible as consistently as possible but we want to keep a bit of dynamic variation in our mix just to give it a bit of breathing space this is what it sound like if it was too compressed and you can hear the kind of pumping effect that you get when you turn that threshold down too much but we're just going to keep the threshold fairly close to where the sound's actually coming out so we're just getting this top bit we're just compressing that just down ever so slightly and then bringing the whole thing back up again I mean nothing to you and I don't know And you can hear the body of it coming back in there. So if I press bypass and then if I unclip bypass, you'll hear the uh, the kind of the life coming back into it. I am everything you need. I am everything inside of you that you wish you could be. I say all the right things at exactly the right time, but I mean nothing to you, and I don't know.
Okay, so that's a bit about how to to mix lead vocals, harmony vocals, and also on your master bus. Do be creative and experiment with effects and see what you can do in terms of using different buses and sending things uh, to different places. But the key thing is to make sure that there's no peaking or distortion uh, coming out of your, your buses or your tracks. It's really important that you don't do that because it will... Uh, you'll be heavily uh, penalised on the coursework uh, assessment. Okay, so just the last thing about actually bouncing down or mixing this file. If we want to get all of this down as one single file to ready to be burnt to CD, if you press Control A, you'll select all your tracks, so make sure everything that you want is soloed and anything that you don't want is muted or you've deleted it. Uh, pressing Control A will select all the way up to the end of the last track. And then you might just want to put hold Shift and click to the top bar just to give a little more space see it goes a bit darker there uh, and that just allows for any reverb tails that might not be in these sounds then you go to file export audio you're keeping the sample rate at 44.1 your bit depth at 16 uh, and then you give it a sensible file name and then you'll see that it will bounce it down so it'll take a little while to process this sound and as you can see it's having to process all of those individual uh, tracks and all those different effects that we've um, plugged in there so it will take a bit of time uh, I'm just going to leave that churning away once it's finished you can then drag it back into sonar and make sure that nothing's peaked or distorted uh, and you can also then check the mixes on different sets of speakers okay thanks for listening hope that was helpful and uh, look forward to talking to you again soon